we went to San Diego to drop off our friend Melody at the border. We decided to go to Old Town San Diego to visit one of our favorite haunts, Casa de Estudio. Casa de Estudio was built by Jose Antonio Estudio for his father, Jose Maria Estudio, in 1827. It is one of the oldest examples of Spanish architecture in California and is best known for being one of the inspirations for Helen Hunt Jackson's 1884 novel, Ramona. We met up with our good friends Josh, Sarah, and Charles and planned on playing tourist for the day. We had no intentions of investigating, but strange things started happening as soon as we got in the doors. So when I came in here, there's a the woman sitting at the, at the front, the docent. Um, I was um, uh, pulling the money on my wallet and I hear, I didn't see you there. And I turned to her and I said, what did you say? She says, I didn't see you. And there was nobody else there. I don't know if maybe she was messing with me. Oh, no. But. So. Donkeys. Kevin, who is still the skeptic, has something happened, well, but is still a happened. skeptic. Oh, because, yeah. I mean, it could have been her messing with me. No. Because I didn't hear it. <laughs> so the tauntings are attached to this uh, particular building is uh, residual. It's mostly you see uh, uh, people just going about their business doing things. Shadows going through uh, the chapel. Uh, there's been a monk that has been seen walking this hallway to the chapel, which is over here. Um, so at one point it was turned into a wedding chapel that was based on the uh, Ramona legend, which was a story. So that was around the turn of the century after the family had moved out. Did you read anything about a girl named Rose? No, okay. because there isn't. There, what I've read is uh, saying that there is a. It's mostly residual, but there are, the uh, times that it has been investigated, they had run into someone who was angry, but they, it wasn't identified. But someone's camera got destroyed and uh, red flashes, things like that. But that was an investigation a while ago. Well, Sarah and I were in the, uh, what was, is it the chapel where the piano is? The piano. Yeah. Where the organ, organ or piano is. And we both were smelling very strong smell of roses in one specific spot. And down low by the doorway, we both felt a cold spot about, what, this height? Yep. At about short. this height. And... The door was moving just slightly. Cold spots has one of the things that has been reported here, mm -hmm. and considering it's July, that, that's pretty unusual. Yeah, and and the door was. Both actually Valerie and Sarah continued to sense things throughout our visit. Forth, like Josh even caught some odd movement in one of the windows. It could have been just shadows playing through the trees, but it wasn't windy that day. Despite my reservations, Valerie decided to try and contact the spirits. You want me to do it? No, no I, I, hate, I hate doing things when there's people here, you know? Do you want me to do it, babe? No. Sarah does. I don't want a broken camera. I would camera. love to see a spirit today. <laughs> I don't want my camera broken. Valerie relaxes and tries to contact a spirit she feels that she is sensing named Rose. <laughs> but that's not what happened. Valerie started shaking her head. I didn't know whether she wanted me to stop rolling or if uh, she was trying to tell us something. He does not like kids. He's here, right here. Like on top of me. She wants me to hurt them. He's mad at me. He's 
I have this urge to just... Can you tell how it is? He wants me to just, like, claw at them. I feel like I need to just... Well, maybe you should cut loose from him. Okay, so I'm picking up the angry spirit that's here. Mm -hmm. Who does not like kids. Obviously does not like religious people. Um, he had given me the overwhelming feeling that he wanted me to hurt those kids. And then a nun just walked past and again, I got this overwhelming feeling of wanting to hurt her. And all I'm doing is picking up him. Mm -hmm. I don't know how he died. He's not showing me that, but he's, he's definitely giving me his feelings. of how he felt when he was alive. And he's strong. He said, I'm having a hard time getting rid of him. But. Well, he's obviously attached to this place, so I yeah, think we should go. Yeah, he is definitely attached here. We're gonna get out of this section. I wanna go see the donkeys. Let's go see the donkeys. Maybe that'll help me to relax. <laughs> a few asses and we'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was good. Since we had not planned on doing this, Valerie had neglected to prepare herself to avoid attachment. Luckily, the spirit was territorial and did not follow when we left. <laughs> <laughs>